Next tonight, a kind of daredevil race underway at America's big theme parks. Bigger, faster, scarier new rides. And tomorrow, the world's tallest water slide opens higher than the Statue of Liberty. But what do the crash tests show and what happens when ABC's Matt Gutman is one of the first to take the plunge? You could call it a water slide. 168 feet of teeth chattering terror. I call that insane. First flight was easy. 264 stairs, higher than Niagara Falls. Feels like I'm about to be dropped off a cliff. I was about to be the first civilian down a ride that's been a serial killer of sandbags and test runs. It fell backwards, tipped over, and killed every sandbag in there. Its name, Frucht, German for insane. Oh my God! Ah! These are uncharted ahem, waters. Frucht is already a year late and way over budget, delayed by serious safety concerns. Those sandbags standing in for human passengers. The minute we since we had a problem, we just stopped and said, well, how do we fix it? And then we did. The park worked with local regulators to tweak the incline and in installing this safety net. But enough talking, it was my turn. Verrucht is the doomsday ride in an amusement park arms race. Big rides like this new 64-story drop at New Jersey's Six Flags mean big money. 85 million guests at water parks alone in 2012. So many wondering if the fear business is getting dangerous. The ride's designer says no. It's being built really like you'd build a spaceship. This one's been tested at everything from impact to speed. A three-second freefall up to 50 miles an hour, a face full of water, and I am pleasantly terrified. 